Texas apparently is not going to provide a depth chart. Uh, UT official says Texas football coach Steve Sarkeesian will not provide a depth chart before the season opener this week. In addition, Sarkeesian is not expected to provide a depth chart at all this season. Clearly things could change, but that's Sarkeesian's plan right now. Now, Sark said something along the lines of all of these positions are going to be fluid. He's just checking everything out. And what's funny is he's not going to provide a depth chart, and yet at the middle of a media availability for you know some of these players a week ago or however long ago it was, a couple weeks ago, they went ahead and came out and in the weirdest way possible announced that Quinn Ewers was going to be QB1. He's going to be their starting quarterback, and I guess at least for week one. I mean, who knows? Uh, why on earth would you not put out a debt? Like, I don't understand what the advantage is for this. Like, <laughs> I just don't, I don't fully get it. Um, but at the same time, like, if you're a fan, if you're a football fan, who cares? Like, yeah, you're going to see them line up. Like, you'll see them line up on that first play. Like, maybe this isn't great for gamblers. Uh, we all remember what Dennis Franchoni did way back when. Uh, 2007, I think it was, at Texas A&M. He had a $1,200 a person uh, subscription network or whatever where he was giving out, like, player information to, you know, Texas A&M boosters. Uh, and he was telling them not to use it for gambling and whatnot. But, it, I mean, who knows? Who knows how these guys were using it? But uh, but regardless, this is this is just weird. It, when coaches do stuff like this, I feel like they are more in their heads than anybody else. Like, th- this is no advantage for them. I, I don't I don't fully understand it. And maybe you guys do. I mean, hit me up on Twitter, at GaryWCE, or jump into the comments on YouTube and tell me, what is the advantage here? Like, everybody already knows who your quarterback's going to be, but is there an advantage to not letting uh, the opposing team know, it, it, to not letting ULM know that <laughs> that you're going to be starting, like, three freshmen on the offensive line? Like, is is that an advantage? I have not figured this out yet, and I, I don't fully understand it. Like, it's... At the, if you're a fan, it really doesn't matter because your team is still going to be playing and you already know who the players are. Now, you may not know who's starting, but you're going to see early on who's playing the most. So, I mean, you will figure it out, but I, I have not fully grasped exactly what Steve Sarkeesian is trying to accomplish with this. And sometimes those head games that coaches play are more with themselves than they are with the opposing team. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.